Thank you for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. President Muhammad Buhari has charged security agencies engaged with various support services in the 2023 general elections to remain apolitical, maintain a high sense of professionalism and desist from behavior that would bring disrepute to the service. The president gave the charge on Wednesday at the commissioning of the Defense Intelligence Agency estate in Idu Karmo in Abuja. Buhari urged the agencies to handle the distribution and monitoring of classified materials and other logistics professionally and in accordance with standard operational procedures. President Mohamed Buhari has written to the National Assembly to extend the date for the implementation of the 2022 budget to March 31, 2023. The letter was read at the plenary by the Senate President Ahmed Lawan and the Speaker of the House of Representatives Femi Bajabia Miller on Wednesday. The National Assembly had passed the revised budget of 17.31 trillion naira for the fiscal year 2022 following Buhari's earlier request to make adjustments to the 2022 budget citing the impacts of the Russia-Ukraine war on the country's economy. And ahead of the 2023 general elections, Governor Nasir al rafai of Kaduna State has expressed concerns over the use of religion and tribal divisions as tools for campaigns by some politicians. al rafai described the trend as very dangerous to the growth of democracy, adding that it is a threat to the unity of the country if allowed to continue. Speaking at the commissioning of the headquarters of Sultan Foundation for Peace and Development in Kaduna, El Rufai insisted that rather than use religion and ethnicity as tools for campaign, political parties and their candidates should focus on issues that are relevant to national development and social stability. The South African Health Department says it is considering offering additional booster shots, making those over 50 years of age eligible for a fifth dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. It said it was considering the request which would see adults between the ages of 18 and 49 years eligible for four doses of the vaccine, up from the current three doses. Those 50 and older can get four doses and with a change will be eligible to receive five doses. In business, the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, says the average cost of domestic flight tickets in Nigeria increased to 73,267 naira in one year. The NBS disclosed this in its recent Transport Fair Watch report for November 2022 released on Tuesday. The latest figure shows that airfares increased by 36,245 naira, which also represents a growth of 97.90% year on year. And Pope Francis has said Pope Benedict XVI, his predecessor, is very ill and has asked pilgrims at the Vatican to pray for him. The Pope made the announcement on Wednesday during his weekly general audience. He asked for prayers on behalf of the ailing former pontiff, adding that the 95-year-old supports the church in silence. Benedict became the first leader of the Catholic Church to stand down in 600 years in 2013, citing advanced age. In sports, the hotel room Lionel Messi stayed in during the Qatar 2022 World Cup is set to be turned into a museum after Argentina's success in the tournament. Messi was key in Argentina's first World Cup since 1986 and was named player of the tournament after netting twice in the dramatic final against France. His achievements are now set to be immortalized, with Ben Ayad tweeting that the University of Qatar space he stayed in will be turned into a small museum. That's the latest from the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Mary Kanu.